Hello lovely people, welcome back again to another episode from Tamale. Today we are going to the market with Sister Lydia and she's going to teach us how to make hibiscus leaf soup. I mean, so bolo leaves. Yeah, so guys, this was my first time hearing of this and it was one of the best food I have ever tasted. And yes, let's get into the video. So this is bra. This is bra. bra. Uh, and what is this? This is a leaf. A leaf. You have eaten it before. And this is this bean leaf. Okay, today we did beans. We yeah. ate beans. Beans leaf. But uh, bangle. Bangle. Ah, uh, how this bangle in the band? Uh, <laughs> okay. I want one. Madabe ula. So you have all this for two cities. Is it two shots? Wow. That's nice. I really like it. That's nice. I really like it. So this is for five cities for five. That's um sardine amani. Uh, okay. Uh, sardine herring. Herring. Uh, okay. Herring. Okay. It's, I think hey, you get. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, Maggie is how much? I want Maggie to Okay, so this is for one CD. This is for one CD. On, on roasted one? On roasted one. Okay. I need that one. I have done all cake to make sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So guys, we are going home to cook the bra soup. As you saw it um, at the market, we got the bra leaves, okay? How yeah. was the uh, English name for bra leaves? Habiscus leaves. Habiscus so this is hibiscus leaves and the sobolo that we drink the sobo drink is the hibiscus flower the flower travel and learn no you see what i'm learning today we are going to make hibiscus soup Auntie Lydia's house, Kamina Barracks. Okay. I'm going to the barracks. Wait to the barracks. One of the best in town. Yeah. Yeah. It seems I've drunk this in, in the town there. So Sister Lydia is also an event planner. She makes food, she's a caterer, she plans for everything that you want during your ceremony. So you can contact her and also get your food delivered from her. Don't hesitate to contact Sister Lydia. Should I plug the smaller ones? Yes, you can add them, provided they are fresh. Okay. Okay. 
tomato, the sobolo sobolo, we get it from overgrown hibiscus leaves. Uh, that's uh -huh. the, the flower. flower. When it grows, for now, the flower hasn't started shooting. That's why we are using the leaves for the soup. Mm -hmm. So when you leave it for long, the flowers will start shooting. And it's sobolo. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is sobolo. Uh -huh. Hibiscus drink. Yes. So she good. made it home at home. Yes. This is homemade hibiscus yes. drink. Flower drink. Yes. Okay, so this is the flower and this mm -hmm. is the leaves. Uh -huh. and this is so you trace it, you see the red in it. Yeah. Uh, you trace it, you get the leaves. Wow. So we have, we had these leaves from Tamale Central Market mm -hmm. for two Ghana cities. For two Ghana cities. I don't think people get this in Sudan for two cities. <laughs> Mm. Some people, when they are preparing the bread, they add either lettuce mm -hmm. or cabbage or even a leaf. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So you can decide to add any vegetables you want. Okay. So it's except uh, beans, leaves, and a yo okay. You can add a leaf, you can add lettuce, you can add a uh, cabbage. So it's. Why don't when they add ayoyo and alifi? Because no, you can add alifi. The ayoyo okay. because of the slamminess. Oh, you okay. Ayoyo is on its own. Okay. When you go to Upper West, that is where my mother is from. They call it Jojo. Jojo. This soup they call it Jojo. They blend uh, bra, cabbage, lettuce, a whole lot of vegetables. So they call it Jojo. It will be healthy. Yes. <laughs> wow. Soldiers barracks. Eh, Kamina soldiers barracks. Tamale. Who na is soldier? They are meeting me, so yeah. Hey. <laughs> so you have been living here for how many years? Twelve years now. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, so now we are removing the the fence. Jenny, no, no, no. Eh? So say the covers. The covers. Eh? No, no, no. Okay. So we are dressing the onion. See. Then we divided it. Then you can also um, cut some of these parts. You are not throwing away anything. Brass soup. Brass soup. Brass soup. Hibiscus. Hibiscus leaves soup. soup. When you go to burger, they call it bitter. I'm going to chop it into the sizes I want for the soup. So I've started. Me, I don't do chopping board. Mm. I do direct, direct. Direct, direct. <laughs> Local direct, direct. I'm done with uh, chopping or cutting of my pieces. So I'm now going to wash it and put it in my saucepan. Then add uh, slices of onions. The onions have been dressed into the already so. So for now, I'm going to steam the meat. With the onions. I'm used to cutting with my hands without chopping board. This is how I do it. It's the fresh granite. Fresh granite. Some people use only the fresh granules for their beer soup. But you can combine it with granite paste to any taste you want. So I am combining the fresh granules. I will pound it small, mix it to already prepared granite paste, peanut okay, paste, peanut paste. Uh -huh, for the bira soup. Yeah. Season it with a cube. I'll use one and then I'll add salt and put it on fire. Okay, have it on the pot. So I'll cover it for you to cook faster. Okay. Peace. So I'll first of all wash it and throw the water away, then use salty water okay. for the next wash and then wash it for the third time again. Okay, okay. So I'm washing it under running water. Yes, 
I'm soaking it in the salty water for about five minutes. So now we are going to see it. Sieve it. So we wash it and then sieve it. Nah, ni I'm putting it in the sieve. Yes, sieve it. Ah, you see, you can get water from it. It's steaming with its own juice. Yeah. So we give it a quick stir. The secret to a uh, delicious bira soup is our yeah, dal, and that is the locust beans. Mm -hmm. So I'm now working on my herrings okay. so that I can pound it dry. I don't want to pound it wet. So I will take off uh, that uh, bitter part and then the stones out. So this is my dawa dawa locust beans. Mm -hmm. This one is not the Encherwa Encherwa, this one is the pounded one. So this is how it looks. So I'm going to put it in the mortar and pound it, yes. I'll take a... I'll divide the... Just a little. A little. So adding this to it to be pounded. Meat is now okay. I'm going to oh, put water. Smells good. <laughs> so I want to put water, then start with the soup. Soup. So I'll put a, a, a little bit. I don't want the soup to be watery. Okay. As and when I want water, I'll add it. Okay. Yeah. So after that, I wash small pepper. Put it in it for the pepper to be soft. Then I I will grind it. If you realize I haven't added tomatoes yet, mm -hmm. I also have my secret with the tomatoes. I add it in the latter part of the soup. That's why I haven't added the tomatoes yet. Well, okay, have this good leaf so that I can pour that sour water it has away. So this is to boil the hibiscus leaves. I put water with pan on fire. When the water boils, then I'll just add the hibiscus leaves for some five minutes because the leaves is very soft. So I'll just put it for five minutes. Meanwhile, we check on our soup here to see and it's boiling. So at this moment, as it's boiling, I can add my pounded uh, herring with the dawa dawa. Don't forget to send money through Tap Tap Send from America, Europe, um, UK to Africa and to Asia. To Ghana is free. And in Ghana, they, you don't, they don't charge any e-levy when you are sending money. So continue to use your Tap Tap Send and use my promo code TATI while sending money on your first transaction. I use Tap Tap Send and I won't recommend any bad thing to you guys. After 10 minutes, I check on our soup and it's now boiling perfectly well. When I added the herrings and then the dawa dawa, I didn't stay because I know when it boils, automatically it will spread. So now I'll remove my pepper. When I remove the pepper and finish, I'll put granola paste and then the grounded uh, fresh granola peanuts. Guys, our pepper is okay. I'm not going to put it back to the soup. Because it's small, I'll have to use water. Means the ayua. So I'll pour it back into our So now I add my peanuts, the fresh and then the roasted and, and pasted. And they grind it. Yes, uh -huh. so this one, this is the peanut paste, and this is the fresh peanuts. Peanut. Roasted. Or roasted. Or roasted fresh peanuts. So I'll just add some small quantity to it. When it start boiling, it will dissolve. So it's okay. Then I add the fresh to it. Water 
for the habits to sleep is also boiling now. So I will just have boiled the habits to sleep for about five minutes. At this point, you don't add salt here. You okay. just boil to take off the sour water away. Then we pour it back into our soup, which already has salt. Okay. Just leave. It's after five minutes. So you see, and this is very soft. Mm -hmm. I pour it back. After adding the peanut, I didn't say it, but you see, it, it has, has melted, melted yeah, on, on its own. Oh, wow. So, at this point, I said to test for salt, mm -hmm. and if in case the salt is less, I adjust it for the seasoning. So, at this moment, my habiscus leaves can come in. So, I'm testing to see if it's still sour, mm -hmm. I can still wash it with water. Okay. It's okay. And out of the peanut, so it means it's it's abin kakra. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So I'll just add the leaves, not abin abu. Okay. So I'm adding the habiscus leaves. Okay. You can add a leafy okay. the habiscus leaf or lettuce or cabbage. Okay. Mix with the biscuit leaves for the same vegetable soup. Mm -hmm. You can add it if you want. It's a matter of choice. Okay. So when I stir, I realize it's a mistake. So, like I said before, I add water as and when. Uh -huh. So I'm adding a bit of water, then I'll adjust with small salt. So it's mistake for yes, you. For you, add you can water. add any water. onion and cream and add it to the soup this is your secret yes that's why i didn't really add the tomatoes in the early stage mm -hmm. but if you want you can add it with the pepper and then grind, and grind it. yes mm -hmm. but i prefer it this way so if you want at this stage if you even have green pepper or carrots you can add it up this is vegetable soup, soup. Uh -huh. I chop it a little bit because tomatoes and it touches heat, it will become so soft. Wow, the soup is ready. So now at this point, if you want to add additional pepper, you can just drop it in this way. Anybody who wants it can just chew it as a mm -hmm. And then I, I will add my seaweed, which is the chopped onion pen. Tomato so I'll just add it to it this way. It to give it another flavor on its own. So I'll just stir it and leave it on fire for two minutes. Then we, we are, are done. done. Yes. soup is done. Today's with the vegetable soup. Vegetable soup. Okay, so it's now time to serve. So you can take the soup alone as well if you want to. Some people take the soup alone because it's heavy. It's heavy for them, so they are good with it. So. so we are serving our soup. If you have cheeses, you can take it with it. You, you have, have rice. rice balls. Rice too, you can take it with it. Rice balls, it goes. Even banku, you can mm. eat it with it because it's a peanut right, and meat. Right, you can right, eat right. it with peanuts. And yes. Okay. So guys, this is our bra. Our bra soup the massa. Bitter mm -hmm. bit for you. Hey. <laughs> guys, we are done. This is our food. We have our bra soup. That's the uh, Abra soup that with peanut butter. That's the peanut plus 
hibiscus leaves and yeah we have a tea set we are about to take our tea set this is maize tea set mm -hmm. with bra soup. soup hibiscus leaf mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all hands are invited they are not invited yeah <laughs> hey. you are yes, invited i mm -hmm. if you don't know how to make this tea set i'll put the link in, in the description box then you check it out okay Wow, it's hot. Sorry, sorry. This tastes good, eh? <laughs> it tastes good. I love it. Wow. I love it. I'm happy. You love it. <laughs> so, you have, you, you, you feel the, the, this thing, the tomatoes. In it. Yes. You have the onion to I'm a paddy of an hour. So I have a pen or yen. You take it then you will chew it. Mm -hmm. You have pepper if you want it. Uh, so you get your tio, dip it in, get some soup. I don't hear that. This is nice. Thank Sister you. Lydia, thanks, Sam. Thanks for this this um, food, okay? Nyawa, I'm going to do it. This is good. This food is straight from Amina. Amina Bara. Amina and Betty do a bar. So, what kind of bar is that? How could be that? I like the leaves. Hibiscus leaves. Mm -hmm. So, hibiscus, you can prepare soup. You get your drink from meat. You get uh, snacks for the children to send to school for meat, mm -hmm. and you can use it as tea. Mm -hmm. The hibiscus, you can use it as tea and snacks for children to go to school. Exactly. Then when you finish, you take the leaves and prepare your soup. Mm -hmm. Eat it with rice, teased, banku. So they don't discard anything mm. in Tamale. Mm -hmm. Nothing mm -hmm. is thrown away. Mm -hmm. Wow. So guys, thanks for watching. Eh? This this food is hot and good. <laughs> See you later. See you in the next video. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If this is not the last video. <laughs> <laughs> this is that. Sister Lydia, thanks very much. Thank you too. And God bless you. Bless Are you too. a Muslim? I'm a Christian. Okay. I am a Muslim. I am a Muslim. I am a Christian. Okay. Bye bye bye. Ciao. Guys, my baby is in him. I just look at this. She stopped she eating it. Eh? I ate everything. My mom commented, she said, I'm going to eat It's mine. It's not yours. Just watch him oh. cry. Hmm? They seem to eat it. So, bye bye.